Hey everyone, so it's been a while and I promised you guys about a month and a half ago that I would show you guys a full stack video. Uh, my last full stack video was about sometime in March I believe, yeah. And I didn't even have half of what I have um, right here. So first of all the reason why I'm showing you guys this full stack video today is that it's kind of to mark my it's not exactly a year but it is about it's roughly about a year since I started stacking and on top of it I'm actually not going to be showing any of this for a while because I am leaving all of this here in California in my secret spot that's what I like to call it and uh, I like to apologize that I haven't I haven't really been um, too good on emails haven't been really good on the comments and I apologize I've been like I told like I've said before in, in my last video last last video um, I am taking a break from all this I wanted to enjoy my summer without having to think about gold and silver uh, looking up the prices I actually um, just looked up the prices um, of gold and silver and they've gone up since the last time I've um, check them before I left for California so whoopee uh, and yippee and I don't know depends how you want to take it or how you want to look at it but prices have changed and it's interesting I still got emails from Atmex but I just kinda um, delete them I don't even take a look at them and but yeah I just wanted to enjoy my summer so I tried really hard to stay away from the computer and want to spend time with family my girlfriend and my buddies who I haven't seen in the past uh, year or so so, um, at about 167.26 ounces of silver, that includes my junk silver, and I'm at 5.55 ounces of gold, and I, I think about a good, a good bit of it is actually not um, my own. I mean, it was a good, no, a good bit of it was actually given to me. Uh, as some of you guys may know, this set right here. Um, 2009 Panda set and this um, one ounce uh, gold um, gold panda as well. Um, those were given to me by uh, my great grandmother, and these are the ones that I've gotten myself. And what started this whole entire thing was this one right here. You guys should be familiar with this for those of you who have watched my first couple of videos when I started my channel around in March. So yeah, I'll just give you guys a quick little run through and yeah, we'll see what happens. So let's start with the Kilo coin. Um, I have my Kilo coin right here, the Year of the Rabbit. I got it at a really sweet deal. And actually, in fact, I'm really happy that I got this around the time that I did because um, had I started collecting or stacking I think about a year ago, I actually watched um, Silverfish VT's recent video, The Time Machine, and he there was one part of the video where he looked up that, yeah, the year the Dragon Kilo was at 1500 um, bucks, and I pretty much got this at half the price. Isn't that crazy? Here's my 10-ounce Kookaburra. I have my... <laughs> sorry. Um... My five ounces, my five ounce dragons, my five ounce snake. Here are my Australian Lunar Series. I got the mouse, the ox. These are all Lunar Series 2. I have three of the tigers. I have one year of the rabbit, three of the dragons. I got one extra actually that I gave to my girlfriend and she really loves it. And here's my year of the snake. I have five freedom girls right here. Um, really not too much a fan of the mulligan men or whatever I mean every time um, people talk about the mulligan men about they always bring up the whole Chris Duane issue and I just don't like talking about it or hearing about it it's just it just got a little bit annoying to me um, here's some miscellaneous um, Britannia's and this one's actually the snake previewed one the one with the snake on the rims kinda interesting I paid quite a premium for this and it was a little stupid of me and here are all my American Silver Eagles. You guys know I'm not that big a fan of them. 
And I actually like the Philharmonics a little bit better because I like the size of them. I like their thickness, and I like how they're not reeded. So when you stack them, it actually looks like a mirror. Um, here are all my koalas. So um, one kookaburra and one 1991 kookaburra. One from 2009. I really like this, or it's actually 2008, 2009. I really like this design. I mean, there are other designs um, with similar um, text, um, background texture, but what I really like about this is that it has a nice crinkled foil kind of background to it, and I think that's really cool. Here's my here are my Somalia elephants. I right around the same time I bought my Kilo Rabbit. If you guys remember, I had to pull out. Um, I had to go ahead and in, into my budget like a month, a month in a month into the future of my budget. I had to take my but I had to take a bit of money from my next month's budget to afford it. And so I did miss out on the deal that a lot of guys did. Um, Epic RV and Silverfish VT, they got a really great deal on a roll of um, Somalia elephants, and I was pretty jealous. But that's okay. Uh, here are my silver one ounces from uh, Rwanda. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I got these at, a, at the time right before they started getting crazy in price, but... Uh, if you guys were to look at like the zebras, the lions, those are really expensive right now. So uh, I, I thought to myself, those aren't even worth getting. Here's my junk silver. Really don't have that mu have that much junk. Uh, I really don't see myself um, collecting junk too much because I really don't see the value in it. And if you were to get from a local coin shop or order it online, the premiums are just way too crazy right now, and it's just not worth it in my opinion. And some people like it, some people don't. Um, for me, I don't. And some people really appreciate the historical value of them, and whereas me, and eh, not so much. Here are my Canadian uh, Canadian coins. I have only one maple leaf and one Canadian snake privy. What I like about the snake privy is that if you look at the finish, it's really frosted. It has a really nice frosted finish. So. Uh, le le less surface area for it to have those um, horrid, horrible looking milk spots. Uh, luckily, on my polar bears, I don't have any milk spots. But what I, while I was taking, while, while I was actually rearranging all of this, I took a look at one of um, my wood bisons, and they have a milk spot. And I'll, I was shocked because I guess it does happen to a lot of people, and. I mean, it didn't really happen to me very much, but I guess uh, there's a first time for everything. I got my first milk spots. When I first got these, these were flawless. But uh, these ones, I only have four of them, four wood bisons, but one of them has a good number of milk spots, if you guys can see. I'm sorry for the shaky video, guys. I don't have my tripod with me, so um, just bear with me for a little bit. So, I think that's it. Oh, we got my... My pandas. I got this one. I'm really happy about this one. This one's 1997, and it's only a half ounce. At the time, spot was around 27. So, what would you pay for a half an ounce spot? I think about 13.50, right? I actually got this for 37. Uh, let me know if you think that's a good deal or not. But I got it for numismatic purposes, and I kind of like the design of it. So I just kind of spoiled myself a bit. I have a panda from 2009. 2010, 11, 12. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think um, it's only these two or these three. Okay, either one um, will have a mintage of 600,000. But when it started going into like when 2012 hit, they made, I forgot how many, I think a couple million. Uh, I'm actually, see, that's, that's how long I've been out of this, guys. I, I actually... <laughs> I've been out of this for about a month and a half now, and I really forgot all my mintage, um, my mintage numbers and everything. But I do remember that for 2013, a lot of people are saying that um, there's not going to be much of a semi-numismatic -numis, play because they made 8 million of them, I believe. So my gold, like I said, the gold here in the air tights, uh, I, got the, I got these myself. And this set right here and this commemorative set... I'll get back to this one a little bit later, but um, so I have four tenth ounces, 
Sorry about that. Let me zoom in. I have a 10th ounce Panda, 2013. Maple Leaf. A Philharmonic. A 10th ounce Dragon. I have... Um, I actually missed out. I actually saw this, but I just couldn't bring myself to buying it because if you guys remember, I, I can't... Af um, if you guys remember my to really afford a purchase video you know you you guys will understand what i'm saying but at the time i couldn't afford this i couldn't afford buying the year of the pig year of the year of the chicken rooster and year of the snake you know the 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 three gold um australian lunar series one coins that uh silverfish vt bought i was actually thinking about getting them but then silverfish be, uh, vt beat me to it and at the time i couldn't um couldn't afford it and I missed out on it. Um, Provident Metals doesn't have it anymore. Atmex doesn't carry the uh, one um, one tenth ounce series one snake anymore. So here are my quarter ounces, my Britannia, my proof Britan Britannia, my Philharmonic, my Year of the Snake, and one of my favorites, the Polar Bear, a quarter ounce. You would think that since they made a one and a half ounce silver polar bear that they would come out with something weird like maybe a one third ounce or a one fifth ounce, but they just stuck with a one um, with a quarter ounce polar bear and I thought that was nice. It's my commemorative set right here, the 2009 commemorative set. One ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, tenth ounce, and a one twentieth ounce. These were all. This was given to me by my great grandmother. And well, actually, my mother was holding on to these for uh, for me, and she thought that when I came back last spring, that it was an appropriate time to give them to me. Here's another commemorative set. We have a two ounce silver panda right there, three point three ounce medallion. I think it's a really crazy design, um, just designs from uh, all the different years put together. Um, in 1991, so this is made in 1991, so there aren't that many designs. But if they were to make like a like a compilation design um, from 1982 all the way till 2013, <laughs> that'd be one heck of a coin. And here's my one ounce 2009. It's actually a really thick coin. I really like this. If, you were, if I were to take this out and put it next to my other one ounce, now these two are both one ounce coins one ounce gold coins but just look at how thick this one is it's crazy and I saw this set right here I don't know I don't want to calculate it right now but spot compared to spot it was a big difference I saw this exact set go on eBay for I think five thousand dollars or something like that or more I actually have it had it on my watch list and even though it ended it's still up on my watch list just to um, be there so yeah, that's it. Um, that is my entire full stack. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And more videos to come. I, I am starting school in two days from today. Um, by the time I post this video, school starts the next day. And we'll see where it goes from there. And I hope, um, for those of you who are watching this video, thanks for being so loyal. I mean, thanks for putting up, for my, uh, putting up with my MIA. I haven't been around for about a uh, month and a half and it was just so then I can kind of relax and just enjoy myself and hopefully I didn't get anyone who I didn't get anyone who unsubscribed me hopefully not and but I think I broke my 500 subscribers um, point so yay me and let's see how long it takes for me to get to a thousand but I think that'll be a while <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys won't see any of this for a while. All right, so just take a good look at it. All right, so again, I'm at 167.26 ounces of silver and 5.55 ounces of gold. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys.